What's up guys, it's Unders, and today I've got a really powerful tip for you inside FL Studio. If the video is helpful for you, I'd appreciate it if you could drop a subscribe on the channel. It does help me massively in creating more content for you guys. So what I'm gonna show you today is how to take a sample and get a melody out of the sample, whether we're gonna copy that melody or build something new out of it. It's actually really simple to do once you know the step. So the way I'll generally do this is find the sample that I'm after just in the sample library. So on the right, hand side here I've got my samples uh, and if you were to find something like I've got this bass line here I kind of like the feel of that what we need to do is right click on it and we're going to open that in the audio editor it opens up in Edison and we see some crazy view like this don't stress too much over this if you don't use it what we're going to do is really really simple the next step we need to do is make sure we've got a pattern selected and it needs to be a new empty pattern and we also want to have the instrument we want this to go to selected so I've got this um, bass patch here in Harmer and I've just got a single note in there at the minute on pattern two. Once we've got that set up, we're going to jump back into Edison and we're going to go to the little tab icon just here. We're really quickly going to hit detect pitch regions. We're just going to make sure that it gets the notes and there's no crazy shenanigans going on here. And if you can see something really obvious that's wrong, you're just going to select those and delete those regions. There's a couple of minor things here, but nothing to really worry about. Once we can see that's okay, we're going to go to the little spanner icon just next to it. And under analysis, we've got convert to score and dump to piano roll. Now this is going to dump it to the piano roll and channel based on the pattern we've got selected and based on the instrument we've got selected. That's why we set those up beforehand. I don't want you to overwrite anything you've already written in. So when we do that, we don't really see anything change. Apart from you saw that my single line on Hollow World up there dropped down. All right. So just to show you that it's dropped in there and you could see it go in. We don't need Edison now. He can go away and we we'll disable him over here on the master. And if we open up our piano single, so now we've got the melody from that bass loop in here. Now it's not gonna necessarily be perfect, but it's going to be pretty close. Let's check it out. Just hit L to make sure we're in pattern mode. Damn, that's all over the place. So what's happened is it's come down at a really low octave. Now what we can do, we can change the octave either in Harmer here, so I could bump it up a couple. within the piano roll itself, if we hit control and A, we select everything and by holding command, we can just use the up arrows and jump up in octaves. Now the other thing to note is it's taking it and put it slightly off tempo. Look, we can see the A's here, just ever so slightly off hit. So again, let's do command A, select everything. Go up to the top left hand corner here in the piano roll. We're gonna get into tools and we want to grab quantize. Now this is in 16, so as long as we have a 16, it should be okay. Now we don't necessarily want it to also quantize the levels. So we're gonna take the levels out and make sure they stay as they were and hit accept. And we can see now everything snapped nicely to the grid. got myself a melody going very very quickly and because we've dropped it on Harmer we can actually switch out any of our patches and try out some different sounds. So if I grab my favorite thwip lead that I made and we are ready and rocking into a tune almost instantaneously if I drop pattern two up in here and let's grab a drum loop. Uh, we're instantly rocking and rolling. Just press L to jump in song mode. And there you have it guys. That's how you can take a sample and turn it into a melody in just a couple of clicks and less than a minute's work. I hope the video was helpful for you. Thank you very much for liking and subscribing to the channel and I will see you guys on the next video.